In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace the throttle cable on a Troy Built Backpack Blower. We'll get started by removing one half of the throttle grip. Now remove the screw that secures the throttle cable to the grip. Now remove the throttle cable from the grip and from the trigger. The throttle cable is attached to the blower in a couple of different places. One down here on the blower housing and one up on the engine. To remove the attachment point on the blower housing, we need to remove one half of the blower housing. To do that, first we need to remove the harness. Now remove the screws that secure the two halves of the blower housing together. Next we'll remove the impeller. Now we have access to the throttle cable clamp. I'll squeeze the two wings on the clamp together and push it through the housing. Next I'll remove the air filter cover, the air filter, and the air filter base. The throttle cable has a bracket that secures it to the engine. I'm going to use a screwdriver to pry this connection apart. The throttle cable and the wiring harness are both routed through this piece of wire loom. I need to cut the cable ties that hold the wire loom together so that I can separate the cable from the wiring harness. And now I can pull the throttle cable out of the wire loom. Now we can go ahead and install our new throttle cable. First I'll snap the retaining clip back onto the cable. Now I'll thread the cable through the blower. Now I'll snap the two cable connectors back into the blower. Now I'll slide the throttle cable back into the wire loom. Now I'll re-secure the wire loom with some cable ties. Now I'll reattach the throttle cable to the carburetor and secure the carburetor to the engine with the air filter base. Now I can replace the air filter and the air filter cover. Now I can reinstall the impeller. You'll want to use a little bit of Loctite on the impeller screws so they don't work their way out. Now I'll place the blower tube back into the impeller housing and replace the other side of the housing. 
and now I'll secure the impeller housings with the screws. Now reinstall the harness. Now I can place the throttle cable back into the grip and secure it with the screw and washer. Now reattach the throttle cable to the trigger and reinstall the grip. And I'll finish up by securing the throttle cable to the blower tube with a new cable tie.